Hello and welcome to Epic Tutorial's review and demo of Duet Display for iOS, the first app to let you use your iPhone and iPad as an external display over a 30 pin or lightning to USB cable as opposed to using a wireless network. According to this app's description, it delivers up to 60 frames per second with retina display resolution, something previously impossible. But does it live up to the hype? Let's take a look. Duet Display is available on the App Store for $14.99 and there's a link in the description field below and just requires that you download the free accompanying Mac app from the developer's website duetdisplay.com. Simply click Download Duet, unzip the installer, run it and restart your computer. You'll notice that Duet is now available in your menu bar. Next, connect your iOS device to your Mac computer. Windows is currently unsupported but will be in the near future and launch Duet on your iPhone or iPad and it will instantly act as an external display and let you drag your Mac OS X windows across. If you want to change the positioning of your external display, launch System Preferences on your Mac. Click Monitors, Arrangement and from here you can drag the position of your external monitor so that it mimics the physical layout of your work environment. If you want to set your iOS device as your primary screen, you can do that by dragging the menu bar across. You can change the frame rate and resolution of Duet Display by clicking the app icon in your menu bar and then clicking the settings cogwheel. Under resolution, you can choose between regular, energy efficient and retina high performance. But to run it in retina mode puts a much greater strain on your computer's CPU, which according to the developer is up to three to four times more demanding than using the regular energy efficient mode and our testing confirmed this. Under frame rate you can choose between 30 and 60 frames per second. Similarly, the higher frame rate puts your computer under more strain and may lead to glitches so you'll need to test both modes to see if your Mac can operate using the higher settings. We tested Duet Display version 0.9.8 on a late 2013 MacBook Pro with a 2.3GHz i7 processor with 16GB of RAM and a late 2013 27-inch iMac with a 3.5GHz i7 and 8GB of RAM, both running OS X Yosemite 10.10.1 with an iPad Air 2 and iPhone 6 running iOS 8.1.2. For the most part, the performance was very good using the Retina resolution at 60 frames per second on both machines. However, the iPad was much more practical as an external display than the iPhone 6, which was just too small to be of much use. The only noticeable lag seems to occur when dragging Windows across and accessing iOS X's dock on the iPhone or iPad display. Setting our iPad as the primary display allowed us to run the web-based UFO FPS test and US display did manage to reach 60 frames per second. However, despite this, video recorded at 60 frames per second and played back using QuickTime, while smooth, does not achieve full 60 FPS. The Retina mode yielded clean, sharp results, and there is a clear drop in resolution when switching to the standard mode. However, using the lower settings yielded much better image quality and frame rates than those achieved by wireless solutions like Air Display, which is available in the App Store for $9.99. On the MacBook Pro with Duet Display set to the highest settings, running Pages, Safari with six tabs open, System Preferences and Mail, Activity Monitor would typically show about 70% of the CPU as idle when performing simple tasks on the external display, for example if used for email. But when playing back a 60 frames per second QuickTime movie, that would drop to as low as 30% idle CPU and we could really feel things start to slow down. By setting the resolution to regular and frame rate to 30 FPS with the same applications and web pages open, we would typically achieve between 83 and 89% idle CPU, and when playing back a 60 FPS QuickTime movie, it would drop to between 40 and 45%, offering a smoother computing experience. Whilst you can tap and drag on your iOS device screen to control your Mac, it's pretty clumsy for anything other than the odd tap and offers no scrolling functionality. The developer was incredibly helpful in replying to the few queries I emailed him and told me that there are updates on the way that should improve the frame rate and no doubt also take care of more common bugs such as flickering, which whilst we didn't experience this in our testing, other users online have reported this occurring. These are still very early days for Duet Display and it is not quite perfect yet, but I'm yet to come across an app that is in the first weeks or even months of its release. Duet Display is much better than the wireless solutions available and it won't be long until it's less resource hungry and more stable. 
It is also the first of its kind, and the developers must be congratulated for offering what could be the best external display solution for iOS to date. Since getting Duet Display, I've used it extensively, and for just $15, it's an affordable solution for those who already own an iPad and don't want to fork out a couple of hundred dollars for a second monitor. For our in-depth review, make sure you check out EpicTutorials.com, and of course, if this helped you out, please like this video and subscribe for more Epic Tutorials, reviews, and unboxings for everything iOS and Mac. Thanks for watching.